Preparing for in-orbit refueling missions is poised to become one of SpaceX's most formidable challenges in the years to come, eclipsing even their most daring endeavors to date. Yet, undeterred by the magnitude of the task, SpaceX remains steadfast in its resolve to conquer yet another monumental milestone. Recently, both SpaceX and NASA have unveiled meticulously crafted roadmaps and precise procedures for this audacious mission. How will SpaceX navigate this intricate process? Join us as we embark on a journey into the intricacies of refueling in space in today's riveting episode of SpaceX Flight. Despite encountering skepticism regarding the feasibility of the endeavor, Elon Musk has emphatically reaffirmed SpaceX's dedication to overcoming the challenges of orbital refueling. He has set a target to achieve this feat by the conclusion of next year, underlining that in-orbit refueling, coupled with full and rapid reusability, is indispensable in realizing the grand vision of a multi-planetary civilization. Undoubtedly, refueling will serve as a linchpin in pushing the frontiers of space exploration, with one of its paramount applications being the forthcoming Artemis III mission. In this mission, SpaceX endeavors to accomplish a historic feat, which is to land humans on the moon for the first time in over five decades, and serve as a stepping stone to take humans to Mars and beyond. SpaceX has been forging ahead in the realm of in-orbit refueling, showcasing significant advancements in Flight 3, where a successful transfer of 10 tons of liquid oxygen between the ship's tanks in space was achieved. At a recent NASA meeting, plans for the future of Starship's journey to master in-orbit refueling were unveiled, highlighting SpaceX's unwavering focus on developing hardware throughout the remainder of this year. This includes both the Starship and the Starship tanker variant. Excitement is guaranteed as we eagerly anticipate the pivotal ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer demo scheduled for 2025. Now, let's explore the intricate procedures set to unfold during this mission. SpaceX's agenda includes conducting tests to evaluate how propellant moves within the tank during Starship maneuvers. Additionally, they'll determine the essential settling thrust required once the vehicles are docked, crucial for facilitating the smooth flow of propellant between them. Furthermore, SpaceX engineers will meticulously scrutinize factors such as the current state of the propellant and evaluate the efficiency of transferring propellant from one Starship to another. These tests are pivotal for gaining insights into how fuel behaves in zero gravity, thus advancing their understanding of propellant flow dynamics. Following this, SpaceX will embark on tests to examine the boil-off rates of the propellants, as well as the potential for leakage in space. Both of these fuels undergo extreme cooling to transition into a liquid state for use in Starship. However, during the loading process into the fuel tank, the fuels will naturally heat up causing some of it to revert to a gaseous state, which is evident in the venting process. This phenomenon also occurs in space, where the venting process can result in fuel loss. While venting helps alleviate internal pressure by accommodating fuel volume expansion, excessive loss can lead to wastage. SpaceX is actively seeking ways to mitigate this issue after ensuring the effectiveness of these processes. In the fascinating realm of space refueling, the process hinges on a straightforward yet ingenious principle, a pressure-based system. Here, the tanker, boasting higher pressure, effortlessly propels fuel into the main Starship tank, which operates at a lower pressure. This elegant mechanism ensures a seamless transfer of fuel between the two spacecraft. The maiden flight profile for ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer is an intricate dance of technology and precision. Two ships take center stage, a standard Starship and its specialized tanker variant. Launched from separate towers and propelled by distinct boosters, they rendezvous in low Earth orbit. Here, the tanker takes the lead, initiating the transfer of propellant to the primary ship, a critical proof of concept that paves the way for future missions. Yet, a single tanker's payload isn't sufficient to fully fuel a Starship for a safe lunar landing. It's a multi-step process, with up to 13 tanker missions required to replenish the Starship's fuel tanks entirely. Subsequent missions, focused on rigorous testing, aim to top off the Starship's tanks, preparing it for the monumental journey to the moon and an audacious landing attempt. Success in these endeavors isn't just a triumph for SpaceX. 
it's a pivotal milestone on the path to NASA certification for human lunar landings. Each step forward brings humanity closer to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos and establishing a permanent presence beyond Earth's bounds. Mastering refueling in space stands as a colossal challenge for SpaceX. But overcoming this hurdle not only showcases SpaceX's ingenuity, but also sets Starship apart in the rocket industry. That's all for today's episode. We really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input, and it helps us create better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.